Hello and welcome to this ETE tutor video on how to play Mismatch. This is part of the free dictionary series, so if you haven't checked out the other videos, you might find them helpful too if you're trying to improve your vocabulary. Right, so what we need to do is just scroll down until we find today's game. So here we go, here's Match Up. Sorry, here's Mismatch, here's Match Up. Uh, same process, so we've got the words running down the left and we need to match them with these words here on the right. They're antonyms, the opposite, words with the opposite meaning. So first word, I click here, disenchant. This word always reminds me of beauty and the beast. Uh, to be enchanted by somebody is to be in awe of them, to be mesmerised by them, to be enraptured. So the opposite of disenchant is going to be enrapture. Nice one here, we've got discontinue, so if something's discontinued it means it's been stopped, it's not going to be made anymore, it's not going to stand anymore. So over here we've got uphold, uh, so we've probably got a match there as well. Okay, nice easy one now, so here the word assembled. For me, I often think of Ikea, I think of putting together some furniture and then if you were moving house, say, you'd want to dismantle that furniture, so we've got the opposite there. Next one, nice easy phrase, conform to, so that's to go along with something, to adhere to something, to obey something. So we've got the phrase over here, go against which clearly is the opposite of going along with something. What you might notice is if there are phrases here, and the same with match-up, quite often they can be a match. Last word we've got here is grovel, lovely sounding word. So to grovel is to suck up to somebody, to kiss ass. Uh, so when we've got the only one left, we know we're going to have a match there. Okay, so let's click and see how we've got on. So great, we've got 100% today, so you can always check your results down there. You can have a glance and see if the colours match as well. And over here, we've got what's really helpful if you're learning English as a foreign language, uh, because you get a whole list of antonyms that you can use, and you can also click on any word and listen to that word being pronounced, which is really helpful if you're learning English. That's another reason these videos can help, because you're listening to a real native speaker speaking in their ordinary accent. Okay, well I really hope that's helped. Like I said, check out the other videos in this series. And if you're not already following me on Twitter at ATE Tutor, you might also find that helpful. Thanks again for all your support and like and subscribe.